guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be making some banana loaf and I just love making this recipe. First of all because we love banana loaf in this family, but secondly because it means you're actually using something that otherwise would have been wasted. So today's Sunday, I have got extra bananas left over from the weekly shop that ordinarily would go in the bin because no one would eat them like that. So a good way to use these is to put them into banana loaf and especially if you have people coming around on a Sunday or you go visiting, it's a good thing to take along with you. So it's really, really easy. Everyone can do this. It is really, really simple. There's only one, two, three, four, five ingredients. So you can do some variations of this. You can add chocolate chips. You can add your own flavorings. That's just the way that I do it and it's very, very straightforward. So let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I would love you to hit subscribe and stick around and let's get into the video. Okay, so on my ingredient list I've looked out some fry light steak because I think this is the easiest way to grease the loaf tin. I've also got two durin bananas which are fairly well ripened. Also got some butter and what you need to remember is 140 or just that these three things here have the exact same amount of them so you want the exact same amount of grams of butter caster sugar and flour because that combination together will give you a nice loaf. We want two eggs, I also add some cinnamon, a little touch of salt and also some vanilla. So literally that's all we need, one, two, three, four, five, five or six ingredients because these are just kind of variations of things. You don't have to put in cinnamon or vanilla, it's just a choice but I personally think it really does add to the flavour. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you the order that we make all of this in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is measure 140 grams of butter along with 140 grams of caster sugar. as 
that this is absolutely roasting hot. <laughs> Not a good idea to be holding this, this is after coming out of the oven, but doesn't it look absolutely delicious? I cannot wait to get stuck into this. I am very excited for it to cool down. Do not try and take it out of the baking tin until it's been out for at least like 20 minutes until it's really cooled down because it is quite a, are we going to say the word? Are we going to say it? It's quite a moist cake um, and <laughs> cringe. Because it's so moist, sometimes it will separate, like the top will stick to the bottom of the pan, obviously when you turn it around. But yeah, I cannot wait to get stuck into this. You can have it hot or cold with custard on its own. Some people even put butter on it. Um, I think it is an amazing little dish to create if you are in need of using some bananas up and you're wanting to make a little party piece. So there we go, my banana bread, really, really easy to follow. I will leave the recipe below if you want to screenshot it. I will also put it on Instagram as well so you guys can head over there. It'll be under my food little highlight on my grid. So head over there if you want to see it again. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on Tuesday's video. Bye.